Hey, so, um, no, this is the first uh, video that I've done on a long time, <laughs> probably like a month or so. Uh, just a quick unboxing video. This is, uh, I believe is the Power Commander for a bike that I'm working on. It's a uh, 2001 CBR929R. It's kind of expensive though, but it's uh, cheaper than buying it on, on the Power Commander site. I bought it on eBay and it was $299 with free shipping. Took four days to get here. And on the Power Commander side, it's uh, for 400 bucks, so it, it's uh, $100 less than that. So I'm just going to open it real quick and show you what's in the box. So it says DynoJet, and there's the part number, um, you can see. And let's open it real quick. So it's just a regular box, comes with the instructions and the guide. Uh, the power commander uh, also has the part number in the back, so you can see PN16-0047 has the extra ports for the quick shifter and all that shit. And this is your connections for it. Um, and your ground. What else? We got the USB cable they provide for free. Well, they might as well provide it for free though. A wipe <laughs> uh, to cover the ports. Mm, Velcro. More Velcro. Some decals. Uh, fuck. That. Eh, I think that's about it. And the warranty, supposedly. So yeah, this is the, the power commander itself. The this, the velcro, all that stuff. Uh, the instructions uh, show you how to install this shit. So basically, it's a simple procedure. Uh, just lift up the tank and get to the plugs. They show you on the on the guide as you can see that's the instructions on it and it's a really really easy to install it then when I'm finished with this I'm gonna go with my friend uh, who's gonna dyno tune and get it uh, tuned correctly and the software map the download instructions you can see if you want to download uh, download a map that already been done also well I think that's about it Okay, so this is for the 2000 to 2001 CBR 929 RR. And there's the Power Commander 5. And that's the unboxing video, as you can see. So hopefully it makes, I don't know, some good numbers on the on the dyno. Actually, I'm not looking for huge gains, but something to get it uh, running good and smoother. And then I'll let you know when everything is done and give you a, a number. Or probably if I if I get the the sheet for the for the horsepower. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.